Hello, hello, beautiful people. How are you? Are you good? Okay. So my name's Kiana, if you're new here, if you're not, hello, how are you? I missed you. We are going to be doing a Victoria's Secret 24 hour little makeover. It's not really gonna take 24 hours, but I feel like the title just works better that way. Anyways, I always wanted to be a Victoria's Secret angel whenever I was little. I dreamt about it so often that probably people in my life thought I was crazy. It got canceled. I think they're supposed to be bringing it back soon. I don't know. I know it got canceled for good reasons. I want to do my hair and my makeup. I still love my curly hair. This is nothing against my curls. I know some people are probably going to fight me on it. Fight me if you want. My hair is healthy. It's pretty. I just want to try something new and life's too short not to try new things. So let's get started. This hair process is going to take me a minute though, but we're going to go over how I get it sleek and shiny because a lot of you guys have been asking whenever I do have straight hair or wavy hair, basically how I get my curls to cooperate. So we're going to do that. First off, we need to hop in the shower. So let's get in the shower. I have to be quick with it. Okay. So first real step, I have like one hair and it's tickling me. I need it to be like tucked under. I have my hair up in a little microfiber towel because every product that I'm going to use needs it towel dried. And also the Revlon brush that I'm going to use needs it towel dried. So that's what we're going to do. First real step is skincare in the process because I need time to dry my hair and we're efficient here, ladies. We are efficient. So I already washed my face in the shower. I know I'm not supposed to do that, but I did it anyways. All right, beauties, I fed myself. Let's get started. All right. So I actually went to Target to go grab this stuff because my mother contains these things. And so I always just steal it from her. But we're not home today. Well, we're at my home, not my parents' home. So first step, I use the Revlon brush. This, honestly, I don't think that there's anything better for getting the whole blowout look. I just think that this is amazing. My mom has the original one. I got the 2.0. I'm hoping, honestly, the whole reason I got the 2.0 is because of this little switch. Because if you know the original, it's at the bottom and you have to like turn it. I have tiny little hands. It doesn't work for me very well at all. I also got a mirror because I took forever. Do you guys see you guys? You see yourself? Yeah. That's you. That's you. Little beautiful queens. I have this stuff by Color Wow that I really, really like. I'm sure that you probably have seen it, but I don't know where it is. So we're just going to use some other things instead, but I don't know where I put that. Anyways, Kiana should really just get all her shit together before she starts the video. First, I'm going to go in with this Chi Silk Infusion. I have to section mine into quite thin pieces because I do have a lot of hair. Then I'm going to take my heat protectant. This is just the one by Pattern. Again, I like my Color Wow one, but I don't know where I put that. Oh my goodness, I'm an idiot. It still is on the bottom. However, this feels tinier than the other one. So I guess this is just to take it off. Okay. So I'm just going to go over what I do. I basically will just go through, go through, and then keep going through and eventually I'll just start pulling and I want to keep that constant tension. So I'll just kind of keep going like that. You'll see. Like so. And you can already see like it's already really like silky and smooth. And I think the main point is just to keep that tension on your hair. I don't know. Sometimes I'll do it this way. Sometimes I'll do it that way. I think it just depends on what you kind of like. And it's just a matter of figuring it out for yourself. But yeah, I'm just going to continue and do this all the way up. And then I'll show you how I do the top pieces. made everything go super fast. No, I just watched it back. It made it go four times slower. That entire clip of me, I don't even know how I'm gonna edit that. I mean, I'll probably have it in there. I'll, I'll find a way to edit it, but. Oh my God. Okay, anyways. Well, let's get back to it. I had to take a little mini break. I had to go get my drink. I will say without my color wow, it's not doing as well as I would want it to. Hello party people. We have made decent progress. It is not perfect. I don't care because honestly, like I still think that it looks really nice. I do have different layers in my hair that are not really 
cooperating with me, but it's because I'm in the process of fixing a curly cut that I got. And if you don't know what that is, I have a lot of videos about it, but in brief, basically every single hair is cut differently to the curl. So when you straighten it, it looks absolutely crazy. So for instance, like I have this layer right here. Where is it going? We don't know, but we just have to let it grow out. Like I already went to my, like my hairstylist and she was kind of helping me out and that kind of thing. Also, this is only my second time straightening my hair this way and I still think that it's turning out really really good. I'm happy with it. It's not frizzy. It's very voluminous and yeah we're not done yet. So I said that I would come back whenever I needed my things and so here are my little hello. All right so last little bit and I'm going to like roll them right roll them forward. That's what I'm gonna do. about as good as it's gonna get again I have these like weird layers and we just kind of have to ignore them because they're not going anywhere so I have to let them grow out sadly I think I've spent like three hours on this hair already so I'll catch up with you guys to do the makeup in like five minutes I need to breathe I need to get my breath back all ready to be back and start the hair I'm just going to clip my hair back and I really hope that this does not crimp my hair I'll, I will cry if it does <laughs> That is not going to be very nice. I just washed my hands because, you know, we got to wash our hands. Got to stay clean. All right. Again, everything I'm using is going to be down below. We're doing more skincare because as someone who has been in the chair for a makeup artist, because I do model, skincare is like their most important thing. I am going to mix this Say Sun Glow Drops with my other Say Sun Glow Drops. Can you guys tell I'm a little all over the place today? I feel like I can't even find anything. I feel like everything I put down... I lose. Yeah, so I'm just gonna mix these two. It's the exact same product. This one's just a little bit darker. Look at that. Ooh, I know. Some of y'all are gonna say, I don't want that. That's oily. It's not oily, it's glowy. And once I put foundation on it, you will see. I actually have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. I'm just basing off of reference pictures that I've seen. Reference pictures. Also, very, very key thing that I have learned just being in the industry of modeling is that it's not about covering up anything. It's all about accentuating your best features. Everyone has their best features. So it's not about comparing yourself to what everyone else is doing or what everyone else looks like because you have amazing features. You just need to figure out which features are your best and really accentuate those. But yeah, so you just have to find your best features because you are beautiful and you just need to figure that out because that's honestly what every great model is is that they just know their best features did my light just die hello okay while i was waiting for my little light to charge i went ahead and did my nails those are them aren't they cute i love little glue on nails oh my goodness so i guess since it's kind of on topic i could talk about how i got into modeling <laughs> Because I think that is kind of a question a lot of people have. Like not the same realm that it used to be. I think that it's gotten a lot better, especially since like the Victoria's Secret days. With that being said, how did I get into modeling? I just decided I really, really wanted to try modeling. It's always something that I really wanted to do, like I said in the beginning of this video. And I tagged this one agency in my area like in all of my pictures on instagram probably freshman year senior year of high school freshman year of college and they actually dm'd me and responded back and they're like hey we'd love to get you into our office and see you in person yeah that would be absolutely amazing and i was like okay cool i it was freshman year of college okay <laughs> We actually had a huge hurricane hit, so I was out for almost an entire semester. So we actually thought we were going to have to start the semester over because we had missed so many days. It was from Hurricane Florence. If you didn't know, I went to school at the beach, so that's another thing. But yeah, I had tagged them a lot of pictures. Basically, freshman year just kind of really messed me up. So I ended up chopping all of my hair off to here. And I also had freshman 15, which there's nothing against, absolutely nothing against gaining weight. But the problem was that I was different than when I had first like I looked very different than whenever I first sent in pictures to them and I think they were trying to figure out what look they could give me so they were talking about giving me bangs to match you know the shorter layers they were asking me if I worked out at all and honestly it just kind of was really intimidating it wasn't the best environment and I was like I just had a hell of a year 
I don't think that me getting into modeling where people are going to comment on my body and on my hair and on my face is really good for me. So I decided to take a step back from it. I was like, this is not my place. Like, I'm not strong enough to do this. And I just want to be in the right headspace before I go back. Later on, the end of my junior year of college, so two full years later, there's a hair or something. I had lost the weight again, but I did it for myself because I wanted to. I That was the heaviest I had ever been was freshman year of college and I just didn't like it. Again, there's absolutely nothing wrong. You fluctuate weight all the time and that is completely healthy. If you didn't fluctuate weight, I would be terrified of you. Yeah, I just got down to the size that I was originally at and that I was used to and I felt my best at. And I was just really, really good at my confidence. I had dropped a lot of friends that were just not good for me. I started dating this new guy who I'm actually still dating. And he was just really, really good for my mental health. And yeah, I was just taking care of myself a lot better. And I was like, you know what? I think I wanna go back. I wanna do it again. And so I went back and I sent my photos into three different agencies this time. And this was during COVID. So they didn't actually have in-person castings. You just went and got in with them online. So that is exactly what I did. And I got contacted back by all three agencies. Each one of them kind of had their own critiques that they would like to work on and, you know, things that they saw being available for me. And we kind of just started from there. I went in and talked to every one of them and then I ended up choosing the one that I thought fit me best, which actually happened to be the one that kind of told me to lose weight in the first place. But going back and looking at it, I don't necessarily think that they were telling me to lose weight and from a bad place at all. It actually comes from the manufacturers and the styling. It's not really the modeling agencies themselves. It's the clothing companies and the clothing companies, they get samples in depending on the company, but they get samples in a size two to like a size four. Sometimes that company is a size four to a size six, but most definitely they are not anywhere from a size like six to eight or eight to 10 or 10 to 12. Companies don't get samples in those sizes because they just, I guess they just don't think about doing that. So they only get samples of their product in size two to four. So that's what most models are. Or if you are going to be a curve model, it is size like 14, 12 to 14. Uh, so if you're not in that bracket, of weight they just don't exactly know what to do with you because a lot of clients aren't going to want you so it's not really about them commenting on your weight because you know skinnier is better it's just that you kind of have to fall into one or the other and that's another issue that's like a little messed up but at the same time it's a manufacturing thing it's not really on the agencies it's just kind of how it is sometimes anyways again i lost the weight myself i did it for myself and it was only like 10 pounds it really wasn't a lot at all but that changed me from a size eight to a size four to six and I was out of four to six for a really long time and big companies such as Wrangler or Levi's or um, like a lot of jean companies or Nike, a lot of them actually want you to be size four to six. They don't want zeros, twos, all of that. That's like high fashion New York. Being on the East Coast commercial side of things, which is actually where you get most of the money when it comes to modeling, I fit perfectly where I was supposed to. And they decided, they're like, yep, we wanna sign you now. Like we see where this is gonna go, your beautiful hair. The only thing that they gave me was, we want you to dye your hair back to your normal color, like your natural color, because I was blonde all the way down and then like brown at the roots. And they're like, you're gonna get more jobs if you just have your natural features back, which is that's what I was saying, whereas modeling, it really is about enhancing your natural features. I am still not bronzy enough. But yeah, that is kind of how I got into modeling and I've just been doing it ever since. Just going in with a pinky blush because I keep seeing that they're always, always, always very pink. And I'm going to try and be very, very precise where I put this blush. I'm only gonna go to of the middle of my eye range but for anyone who is interested in modeling the best that i can tell you or like my best tips and advice is get yourself behind a camera as much as possible because knowing your angles really does do a lot and a lot of agencies are going to look at you and be like oh my goodness she just knows her way around a camera we have to have her and if you're ever discouraged about your height or your looks or something like that again every single agency is looking for so many different things so if one agency doesn't like you 
that doesn't mean anything. Like you can go to another agency and they could love you. They could see an entire market for you. Just maybe that that one agency was like, hey, we don't really have anything that we think you're gonna work best for. Like none of our clients are gonna be going for, you know, your look. And that's okay because honestly, all of the models, they're apples and oranges and you cannot compare them. I know that's kind of a funny phrase because you kind of can't compare apples and oranges, but basically it's just like, you're a product. And it's like, hey, we want this, this, and this. And sometimes you just don't fit that product. Like you don't fit the description. And that's okay because you are gonna fit someone's description. Again, you're beautiful. I don't have to tell you that. You know that. All right, moving on to eyes. Seems like it's very, like a little bit bronze, but a lot of pinks, that kind of deal. Honestly though, I am so curious because I feel like so many people have so many varying opinions about the Victoria's Secret fashion show. If it were to come back, what would you wanna see? Like, I, I wanna know your opinion, so tell me in the comments. You know, are you in favor of it coming back exactly the same? Do you think things need to change? Do you think that they need to be more inclusive? Do you think, I've heard both sides. I've heard they need to be more inclusive and there's no excuses. And then I've also heard the entire conversation of like being Victoria's Secret Angel is always been like a hard thing to achieve and like people look up to it. And it's not really about being inclusive. Like it's about being the number one of the number one of the number one and everyone knew that. I'm curious about people's opinions on that. I'm using this palette, by the way. I think that is so great. This is getting, this is pretty. I like it, it's pretty. Favorite Victoria's Secret Angel was always, actually I had two, Romy Strigid, is that how you start it? And then Taylor Hill. Taylor Hill was like my, oh my goodness, I was obsessed with Taylor Hill. I watched every single video that she ever put out. I followed her on Instagram. I literally followed her on every, like anything she was doing, I wanted to know about it. No, it died again. Oh my gosh. This is way more makeup than I ever, ever wear, but it's so fun to do. I love it. The one thing that I saw is that they're glowing with highlight all in the inner corner. I know that it's technically not on there and they don't do this, but I just love the way that the dark looks underneath. Are you recording? Uh-huh. I thought we were gonna go get sushi. Unless you were teasing me about the sushi. I don't tease about sushi. For the lips, I'm going in with the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk 2 Medium. He promised me sushi. He better be getting me sushi. I'm gonna throw up that. I have no clue what this is gonna look like, but I kinda wanna put it on my lips. Mm, I don't hate it. Okay, we're getting somewhere. I feel like it shouldn't be this difficult hourglass. set my face. Now I'm gonna curl my eyelashes, apply some mascara, look again and see if there's really anything that needs to be changed. But I think I'm liking how this is looking. I think I'm getting somewhere. You know what I miss? Mascara commercials. I loved when they were like walking on the side of buildings and stilettos for stiletto mascara. It used to be so extra. Okay. This is the final full glam Victoria's Secret makeup. I kind of love it. <laughs> I don't think I would ever do this every single day, but it's definitely fun and a switch up for the typical makeup that I do. So I think that this, I don't know, in another life, maybe I, maybe I could have done Victoria's Secret. I don't know, it could have been fun. Would have been fun. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I will have everything that I used today down in the comments down below. And yeah, if you like this, please subscribe. I post a lot of stuff like this. And then also like this video, share it to your friends. I don't know. I just, I'm happy that you guys even watched it. So thank you guys so much. I love you very, very much. I think that that is all.